I feel so discouraged because in that hearing, not only most of the witnesses, but from the questions of the Congress people, um, you continue to see a uh, sense that Israel was justified in this disproportionate, aggressive, violent, horrific response in Gaza that left over 1,300 people dead, that there was uh, very little expression of sympathy for uh, those who died and were injured and the uh, thousands and thousands who lost their homes and their livelihoods. Um, there was uh, unanimous consent that we shouldn't talk to Hamas, and I think we should always talk to our adversaries. And um, I, I think that uh, it was very disappointing hearing. Um, there has to be a change of U.S. policy. And the uh, move even further to the right by the Israeli government with these last elections makes it more urgent that the U.S. government, the Obama administration, and Congress um, distance them themselves from the policies of the Israeli government and that uh, George Mitchell, as a peace envoy to the region, he goes to Gaza, sees the devastating destruction in Gaza, uh, he meets with Hamas, he goes to Syria, he really talks to and listens to all sides. Well, we think that the U.S. government has been unconditionally supporting Israel and that we need a policy that's more even-handed that we should not allow Israel to continue to use U.S. money to uh, make weapons, buy weapons uh, that are used to kill innocent civilians, that war crimes were committed in Gaza, that those should be looked into, and uh, if indeed uh, they happen, they should be prosecuted. Um, the U.S. should push for a real two-state solu solution, and in the case of Gaza, there has to be a lifting of the uh, border blockade, an opening of those borders so that goods and services can get through and people can live normal lives instead of lives under siege right now. And that Hamas, uh, even though we might not like it, is in charge on the ground in Gaza and there has to be talks with Hamas. Well, we push both uh, legislatively that there be uh, resolutions and legislation that is more even-handed, that stops the use of uh, Israeli uh, U.S. aid to Israel for uh, things like the, uh, uh, the uh, aggression that resulted in so many civilian lives lost. Um, but we also go to the region and play a role on the ground. We just returned from Gaza where we met with uh, all kinds of non-governmental organizations as well as the United Nations and uh, got a sense of the situation. We're returning to Gaza on March 5th uh, with a large delegation. Uh, we will use that to, re to pressure the Egyptian government uh, as well as the Israeli and the U.S. governments to uh, lift the blockade of the border crossings, allowing goods and to come in and out of, of Gaza. And I think uh, we will play a very important role on the ground in that kind of pressure.